corner. This man is a big martial artist, holding an undefeated professional record, 11 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a Rosarito, Baja California, Mexico, Martin El Toro. The action begins. Our referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson draws the assignment. It really is neat to see the excitement for Forrest Griffin and Chuck Liddell as their number one picks face off here for the right Are to be ready? forever Are branded fight. the ultimate fighter. And Martin Bravo in red, Claudio Puyas in green. They did an excellent job coaching these young men. Everybody I spoke to this week, both the camps and the fighters, really appreciated everything they learned. They were actively involved on the mats with these guys. Immediately, Bravo setting the pace, and that's what he's known for. He's a smaller guy, didn't cut any weight to make 155, plans to go to featherweight, but this kid can just straight go. And Puyas opting for a single leg takedown here. The 20-year-old, one of the bigger lightweights on the show, so cutting weight three times in six weeks was certainly an arduous task for him. And didn't feel like he showed his best because of that. All the frequent weight cutting, he said people didn't really get to see his full skill set. He was known as the most well-rounded guy in the house. Pretty good one-two lands for Bravo. That's the thing where Bravo's technique may be off. He just doesn't stop. If he gets you down on top, it's non-stop ground and pound. Who he has wanted to turn this into a technical fight. Both fighters list themselves as South Bravo Bravo, given a few different looks here early. Mike Side, the greatest living American, Brian Stan, John Anik on hand, FS1 UFC fight night. Rafael Dos Anjos, Tony Ferguson waiting in the wings. Bravo definitely showing some improvement in his hands. More accurate, more crisp, not just winging wild punches into the clinch. makes that walk has the look of, of a silent assassin. And, you know, maybe being just 20 years old can work in your favor, you know, perseverate over all the little details that come along with uh, beating in mixed martial arts. Absolutely, but he did come in really confident. Felt he was much better everywhere, and could get stunned here a little bit as he had some shots from Bravo. Yeah, he put on the poker face, but that right hand did some damage to Claudio Puyas. He's ate another solid left, and Puyas knows. Everybody in the house knew about the cardio of Mark Bravo. We're at altitude. This kid's been here for two months, rented a house to train here, brought most of his gym from Tijuana here to train with him. Yes, he busted up Bravo, having no issues finding the range early. Excellent entry to the single leg. Lifts it high. Boy, good balance by Bravo. Real Raw and Unfiltered UFC presents an all-new podcast, UFC Unfiltered, with Jim Norton and Matt Serra. Catch new episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. Visit UFC.com for more information. Boy, and this is funny, seeing Chuck and Forrest sit next to each other octagon side. They're both kind of going through the motions, what they want their guy to do. And again, excellent single leg there. Puglia gets the finish. Let's see if he can hold him down. <laughs> Excellent job transitioning, looking to take the back now. Bravo's using the fence as his friend, though. Scraping his back against it to keep Puyas from taking his back. Nice work there from Bravo. Bravo, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, blue belt. Both guys have some submission wins to their credit. Five for Bravo, four for Puyas. Bravo did a nice job attacking the body there. Puyas returns the favor. Lansing spinning back in, but it didn't land enough. The constant pressure of Bravo is definitely, definitely got the attention of Puyas. He likes his space. Puyas is wearing it early, and Bravo's worked the body to great effect as well. That was a key. When I talked to Puyas, he said, I've got to be able to stop this pressure. At his moments, Bravo's done a nice job staying in his face. Now calling for him to stand and trade with him. Left hand lands plus for Bravo. Nice body kick from Puya. Telegraph that spinning back fist. 
say, I mean, I was not showing any octagon jitters, I mean, nothing. There you can see, I mean, the Bravo marching forward, marching forward, trying to suffocate the game of Ruiz. Now, let him get his feet set where he can fire off his kicks in combination. Final seconds here of round one. We do have a sudden victory round in place in the event that we need it. Bravo trying to take that out of the equation. Ah. T-Bumble Network for $30 here. Bravo pressure and getting the boxing range. Bam, that left hand right there. And it was a little bit of a delayed effect. Goes back to it again, and that is it. And, folks, I'm telling you, those shots don't look hard. When you take a liver shot, your body shuts down. Beautiful work here from Bravo. Downstairs, upstairs, downstairs. Boom, and he folds them like a suitcase. Beautiful work from Martin Bravo. And some legitimate technical advances. He has shown a lot of growth since we saw him in the house just a few months ago. What a reaction from Raul Arvisa. In the corner of Martin Bravo, what do you think will be the best move of the night? Tweet, let us know, at hashtag Metro Move, and tune in to the FS1 UFC Fight Night post-fight show immediately following our main event for the winning move. The official decision, the trophy presentation, and an interview with the ultimate fighter winner, Martin Bravo, coming up next. Team Griffin finishes the job tonight in Mexico City. Stay with us. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Keith Peterson has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 55 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO. And now, the tough Latin American lightweight winner, Martin El Polo Bravo. Congratulations, Martin Bravo. You are the ultimate fighter, Latin America season three winner. You win the six-figure UFC contract. Congratulations. Felicidades, Martin Bravo. Eres el ganador de la temporada tres de The Ultimate Fighter. Ganas el contrato de seis cifras. Muchas felicidades. Me siento, me siento muy emocionado porque por ser parte de esta gran empresa que es UFC y gracias a toda la gente mexicana que me vino a ver. Gracias. I'm thrilled for being part of this great company, which is UFC, and thank you to all the Mexican people that are here gathered to see me fight. Thank you. Everything you told us you were going to do tonight, you did. You got off to a fast start. How big of a factor was that for you and ultimately putting Claudio away? Todo lo que nos dijiste que ibas a hacer, lo hiciste. Empezaste muy rápido y terminó siendo un factor. ¿Qué opinas de eso? Opino que pues veníamos muy bien preparados, creo, psicológicamente y físicamente. Claudio es un oponente muy duro al cual yo respetaba mucho. De hecho, venía muy nervioso, ¿no? Pero pega, como pega muy duro, como todos mis contrincantes. Es un, es un peleador muy bueno y creo, creo que va a tener una, un gran lugar en la empresa del UFC, ¿no? Well, I was very well prepared physically and mentally. Uh, Claudio is a very tough fighter, and I think he's going to have a very promising future in the UFC as well. Before we let you go, we're going to take a look at the finish. The body shot was a big weapon for you, and ultimately the liver shot got you the TKO tonight. Antes de dejarte ir, vamos a ver cómo terminaste la pelea. Ese gancho al hígado fue fue un arma muy importante para ti. Sí, eso es un gancho que que estuve practicando mucho y pues. Se dio, ¿no? Se dio el gancho, pues, salió el, el knockout, ¿no? Uh, that, that's a move that I was practicing for a long time. I saw the opening and I took it, and that's the result. You put on a show tonight. Go celebrate. Mexico City, there he is, the ultimate fighter winner, Martin Bravo. All right, force, force. A lot of people this week here said he was too small to beat Puyas. When I spoke to Forrest Griffin, Forrest actually said I was the perfect coach for this kid. They really gelled in his style. Forrest really felt like he was able to influence him. There you can see the relationship they have as he jumped the fence to come give a big hug. But I'll tell you what, Entram Gym in Tijuana yeah. has put itself on the map as we continue to get more and more talent out of Mexico, which has been a great spot for combat athletes for years. All right, coming up next, one of the most talked about fights on the card tonight. Mexico City, kind to Ricardo Lamas the last time he fought here. We will see if the former world title challenger can kickstart another run to contention. He'll need a win tonight to do it against that man, Charles Oliveira, the nine-time UFC bonus winner. 
Well, he missed weight on Friday. He will look to make amends straight ahead as UFC Fight Night from Mexico City, Mexico.